<laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. You took me by surprise, man. Upside down smart world. Okay, I love you. Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cowling, VDLDC. We're going to be playing one level here. Uh, Sizzle Rock Clips by Mr. Pixelator. Looking forward to it, man. Check it out. Did a jump. There's everything. There's nothing. Everything and nothing. Everywhere. Nope. Switch tangy for you. Oh, well, you know what? Or do you get a choice? Maybe I get to choose one switch or I get I end up in like wait am I in a level now? I'm, I'm gonna destroy myself here just on the regular. I'm like I, 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 I want to go in the actual level here It's all right. So the raw cliffs. Let's see what happens. Yeah, see I'm somewhere completely different. I recognize the song. It's so- well, I don't recognize where it's from, but I've heard it in ROM hacks and stuff before, and it's so good. Yo, yo, check it out somewhere. We got some rocks and we got some shell. Look at that. These rocks are so hot, they sizzle. They smoke. They frizzle. Alright, here we go. If you got body hair, it's gonna be all in the tizzle. Charlie just fell in the lava and it looked like a bunch of pixels. Yeah, that, that was probably not on purpose, but I feel like if you're gonna put some lava in your level and enemies that can fall, then I feel like you should probably take that to consideration. Maybe that's just me, though. Look at these blocks in contrast with the big, clear blue sky. Can't get on that bone now, because I didn't press the switch thing now. Bop the Goomba and end up somewhere. I took the top pipe, don't know if that means anything. I'll see, so... No, it's a warning! Fire hurt! Oh, whew! Wow, okay, thank you for this very important tutorial. See, this I recognize. It's... it's Ice Cap Zone, obviously. Alright, check it out. Goomba, we got smoke, we got fire, fire hurts, we got lava too, I don't know about that. That dinosaur bone, man, seems to be pretty comfy. Check out, we got bones, these one ain't gold. And get a dagger on it cause you're cold I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just going forward There's no reasons for any of my actions I'm gonna here, even though I don't need it See this already feels, oh, whoa Cause I was kinda on two skulls at once It ate my jump Oh, that's a sweet reuse of the sumo bro fire Yeah, see it like Yesterday's, this seems more creative with what it does than yesterday's level that's, like, entirely dedicated to the notion of skull rafts. I feel like this is a much more dynamic voyage. Then we go, shoot, we got this nonsense. And then I just kind of weirdly panic, and I veered right back into that guy. <laughs> hey, you know what? Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it is the haps. I thought the shell would kill it first, and then my shell ends up not getting killed. And then I mess up this easy jump. These Potobos seem broken, in that they flop once, and then they're gone forever. I believe this might be because they're using this style of lava, rather than the bubbly kind that imitates water. While the- what? Whoa. Reset. Here we go. The Potobo will not rise up- oh, this one did. Okay, I might be wrong then. It's just awkward timing for everyone. Like, it doesn't look like it, but two football men stacked together like that? No, yeah, that's hilariously dangerous. Noticed how shiny Mario's shoes were. Look at those pure white pixels, like at the tip of his shoes. Is it always like that? <laughs> Are Mario's shoes always so shiny? Wow, I got here big. Finally, the big advantage I need for part with the Charlie is squandered. Just absolutely obliterated. It's not that hard, he'll think. Yeah. You know what? Look at that. I acted with courage and look. Oh, 
We still got footballs coming from underneath the let's get out of here. Let's just get out of here. You know what? Football! Now we're outside. The music is all panicky, but you get a midpoint, so it's all good. Then you tap on that and you see there's a cyan switch palace somewhere. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. Okay, that's what it means. So, oh, P-switch, huh? So is this how you got a secret exit? Huh? Oh shoot, uh, I don't know what I was just sitting there. I have no explanations to give. Destroy the world around you if you want. That guy's got a shovel. I don't want to see that. Yeah, there we go. Find some hiding. Ooh, look at that. I can find an alternate winding. I can go inside this, this, this cave zone here. Oh, hey. I recognize this place. So there's a strange little shortcut to here. If you take the extra door on the map from the Switch Palisium. Weird though, like why? Is it an accident? Maybe the Switch Palace is within the level also? That wouldn't make any sense. Uh-oh, we got ghost time though. Uh, that I apparently just flat out ignored? <laughs> yes, yeah, they're real, they will harm you. Just only sometimes, I guess, you know. Sometimes a ghost feels nice. Alright, I don't know what I'm doing. There's a reset of... Uh... What does this mean? Okay. Oh, okay, you gotta get this spring bottle. You know what? We saw the entirety of the secret path. We can pretend we did it. And just resume from this bridge in the middle of nowhere. Instant night! With extra mountains growing far away out of sight, I'm gonna do my Mario dance and wiggle around while Goombula's gonna turn around. That's right, around, around. Look, it's not lazy, it's courageous. <laughs> Alright, so this is where our spats flipped. And uh, here we got pipes of all the colors, then the guy that's hopping around. Once again, red blocks would have been relevant, but I didn't bop the switch. So a reminder, kids of all ages out there, uh, this this contest contest. Wait, how do you? Okay, I guess I can go here from here. All right, uh, explicitly promised a compilation game, right? So people, you know, they put down all the different colored blocks. Expecting there to be Switch Palaces in the full game and whatnot, as it happened in previous years. So, so that's why there's a lot of colored blocks everywhere sometimes. And I get that. I respect that. It's pretty rad. It's just it looks silly now in the post. This never will have a completed game. You know, land world. I was looking all along, and I just didn't tell you. Watch. I love this really steamy full of crater. Like, that looks super rad. It's a really, really simple, but super cool touch. I'm going in this entrance here, apparently. Oh, just past the secret exit. I am now in a mysterious land. I'm not getting that thing, even though that's the only reason you would go here. I popped up somewhere in the back. How did I go backwards? I... <laughs> Well, you know what? Maybe the camera was reversed. I can buy that. Okay. <laughs> and you come here. Oh, jeez. It's full of nonsense. Yeah. Big jump. Uh, big jump. Things got real... Wow! What a jerk face. What a not being cautious at all face on me. I am random notes and the instrumentation. <laughs> Alright, back here. I'm big. So if I get a big random... Whoops, well... So if that happens, I'm gonna be okay. Hey, whoa, I died right at the end. What a shock. What a surprise. What a complete and other buffoonery. Yeah, this level, honestly, I thought was real good. I genuinely believe this level was really fun, really interesting. It could have used like one more power up, maybe. Whoa, and then everything gets funky! Yeah, you can tell the music that was on purpose. I like this. I like the whole presentation. Big fan. 
and this is 113th place, you know what? Fantastic. All right, it was a question of time, but we've reached one of these. Um, if you haven't read my, the author descriptions a few days ago, uh, I guess I gotta give you the TLDR. So this contest was done like three years ago, probably getting into the more kind of destination here. Between now and then, there have been two users who made levels who have overstepped important moral boundaries that I am- that make me very uncomfortable in playing their level, because I don't like the idea of putting them on a platform and making a show out of their content. However, I'm also kind of pulled together by the fact that I do want this to be a complete archive of all the levels. So this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be playing this level here, Disco of the Dead, but it will be without commentary. So if you want to just see the level, it's gonna be here, the full run, it's all good. But if you are here uh, mostly for my commentary, in that case you may safely consider the video done. And I don't know, man, VIP, VIP 6 is gonna be in two hours, you can watch that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, uh, see you guys next time. There won't be any more, like I said, commentary for the rest of this video. And this whole situation is going to happen one more time later in the contest. If you want more context, look up Snor Snowrun Pyro's post in this, uh, project's thread. You'll get all the details of what happened that I do not wish to repeat using my voice right here. See you guys. Thank you.